Should you buy an iPhone 12? Okay, here is some of the problems uh, with buying an iPhone 12. First of all, there are four models. An iPhone 12, a 12 mini, um, a 12 Pro, and a 12 Pro Max. Um, three of the models, the iPhone 12 mini and Pro, can all get hot if you use 5G and also some games that are not um, optimized for the processor um, can use about half the battery um, of normal. And even the iPhone Pro Max is capable of getting hot also. And also it still has the same problem with the games that it cannot handle. Um, it'll get half the battery life with, with or less with, with, a lot, with certain games. Um, and 5G can get hot on just about anything. The Pro Max will probably do the best overall um, as far as, as heat's concerned. It'll run a little bit cooler, but that's about it. Um, and so that, that's really one of the biggest problems with um, the, the iPhone, uh, the iPhone 12s. Um, I don't really recommend getting them because of this problem. Uh, I think it would be better if you could to wait till next year and try to get something next year rather than to get something this year. Um, also, you could try to change to a different brand or something. You can go to Pixel 5 or Pixel uh, 4a or the fi Pixel 4a 5G. But the problem there is even with the Pixel 5, um, if you run 4K videos, uh, it, it can overheat and uh, relatively quickly within maybe say three minutes or less if you're running in um, and so it, it'll just stop recording so that's not real cool um, so 5G right now is really not really that developed um, and so it's, 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 p these companies are still learning on how to, how to develop that also on the iPhone 12 it doesn't have 3G uh, which you will need. Um, you'll get into a location that doesn't have a very good connection and then you're going to look for 3G and you're not going to have it. So that's not real good. Um, so I really don't recommend getting the iPhone uh, 12 um, for those reasons. Um, you can also try Samsung. Um, I don't really like the Note. Ha having to keep up with the pen is not really real cool. Um, the S20 I think can break relatively easily. Uh, and so um, there are issues there. Um, you could try OnePlus 8 uh, Pro, um, and it's relatively okay, I guess, um, but I'm just not really a, a, a OnePlus fan. Um, so anyway, um, that's my advice is really to kind of avoid the iPhone Twelves this year, if you can. Um, you could also try the iPhone SE, um, but unfortunately, I bought one of those things, and um, I had a clicking noise when I touched the fingerprint re reader on it. Not counting the bad battery life and other issues it has, and um, so I took that one back. Um, and I got rid of that one. Um, the iPhone uh, 12 Mini is going to be a little bit better than the SC, but it still um, can get hot and it has other issues too. And so it's, the battery life is still not going to be good enough. And if you go to the Pro, um, the, the Pro is still going to get hot. And so the Pro Max will do a little bit better than just about anything. Um, so, but it's big. And so you've got to carry a big phone with you. So there's a big price there to pay too. So anyway, that's my advice for now, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, and thanks a lot.